Hello, sometimes you need to enhance the color of a gray raw image in Lightroom. Probably you know that for photographs like mine, it is very convenient to increase the saturation in the LAB color space with curves in channels A and B. But the trouble is that there are no LAB curves in Lightroom or Capture One. In this video, I will show you how that problem can be resolved. I will enhance color of the image in 3D LUT Creator using LAB Color Grid, and then create a profile based on my LUT and apply it in Lightroom to the entire series of shots. So let's get started. I'm going to load one of the RAW files from the series to Photoshop. Adobe Camera RAW is starting. I will choose the appropriate profile for my image. I like Adobe Landscape. I will not touch the rest of the settings and open the photo in Photoshop. Now I will load this image from Photoshop to 3D LUT Creator. How can I greatly enhance the saturation? LAB Color Grid is the best choice. I will switch grid to the LAB Color. Unsaturated colors take up very little space on LAB Grid and it is inconvenient to work with such small color distribution. People often ask me how to zoom in on a color grid. 3D LUT Creator doesn't provide this feature, but you can choose a color model where unsaturated colors take up more space. I will choose the LABN model. The distribution of color on the grid began to use up more space. If this is not enough for you, then there is a small life hack. I'll select a circle on the grid into which the entire color distribution of the image falls, and then I will increase the saturation on the grid. Now I'm loading the current grid into the external LUT and reset the settings. I'm choosing the color model LABN. The distribution of color on the grid has become even greater. Now I can work with color in more detail. For example, I lack the saturation of green here. There is green grass in the photo and I would like to make it more saturated. I'm going to do it on the grid. Now I will increase the saturation of the purple shades. They became better visible on the side of the mountain. It remains to add variability to the warm shades. I will spread two color rays to the sides. That is, red-orange will turn red and yellow-orange will turn yellow. I purposely chose this image because there is a car parking with neutral colors in the distance. Please note that the cars did not acquire any additional shades, despite a strong increase in saturation, and the steam from the well remained gray. Also, oversaturated colors did not appear on the photo. If the color saturation rises to the maximum, then you will inevitably lose details in the image. This also doesn't happen here. I'm saving my edit to the LUT file. Done. Now I'm going to Photoshop, closing the old file, it is no longer needed. I'm loading my RAW file again. Adobe Camera Raw is loading my previous settings, so I will go to the Preset tab, hold down Alt key, and click on New Preset Icon. I'll name my profile Sat Plus. I will choose Iceland Profiles Group. The profile from Adobe is already loaded here. It only remains to load my LUT. Done. Now let's see how my profile works. The color saturation is a little higher than necessary. This is done in case there is a completely gray image. The effect of the profile can always be adjusted with this slider. In Capture One, this is not possible. Photoshop is no longer needed, so I'm closing it. What remains is to restart the Lightroom. I select my profile from the list. That's what happened. The degree of influence of the profile can be either strengthened or reduced. I'm going to select all the photos and synchronize the settings. Now we are waiting for the end of synchronization and loading of previews. So let's evaluate the results. Here is before, here is after. Let's compare side to side. My profile applied very well. Practically nothing needs to be corrected in terms of color.
All that remains is to take advantage of the Lightroom for working with raw files. That is, you can restore highlights, increase local contrast, and so on. That's all. Now you know how to use LAB color space advantages in Lightroom and enhance color of your raw files. I hope this video was useful to you. Like, subscribe to the channel. See you in a new video.